Hello, hello, my name is Flame, and as you saw in the title and thumbnail, these are my My Little Pony Friendship is Magic redesigns. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, I did this spontaneously. My friends are probably watching this video thinking, Flame, what are you doing with your life? And I'm going to be honest, this was entirely for nostalgia because I grew up on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. In fact, I remember vividly uh, waking up and going to eat breakfast before elementary school and seeing the first episode playing on the TV. So this uh, series has a special place in my heart. It has influenced my art a lot. I remember making friends because of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I used to have so many toys, they've since been donated, but My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is really, really important to me. Um, like, so much so that I used to have like an alicorn OC. She was like blue and pink for some reason, because I was a kid. Um, the fandom inspired a lot of the things I do today. Um, it was my first introduction to so, so many things. Um, and, <laughs> uh, recently I've been watching the VODs of Ainsley, Ainsley's, uh, My Little Pony streams. Those have been so fun. So this is entirely a result of me engaging in my nostalgia and, memories from my childhood um so let's go ahead and get right into the meat of things so to begin i sketched out uh versions of what i think different pony types would be at least in my little universe <laughs> uh so unicorns uh i kind of based them on like this traditional fantasy look um, their tails are really thin until the end where they puff out into a bunch of hair or fur. Um, they're very tall and lanky and their legs are skinny. Well, their back legs are pretty thick. Their front legs are very, very skinny. Um, Earth ponies are a bit shorter than unicorns and they're overall sturdier and um, buffer, thicker, all that kind of stuff. They kind of just look like normal horses, but a bit more chibi. And then pe Pegasi are significantly smaller. They um, have tail feathers instead of like hair for a tail. Um, they have incredibly thin legs. Their hooves are not nearly as large as unicorns or um, earth ponies um, because they walk on clouds. They don't need as thick of hooves. So, and their wings are significantly bigger than they are at the show. So that's just establishing um, the anatomy of these ponies. Beginning with Twilight Sparkle, there's not much I can say about her. I made her fit the uh, anatomy I had already established for unicorns. Um, I gave her a few more colors in her base um, pelt. So she has um, some stars um, on her uh, face, her nose, um, her underbelly. And the fur just above her hooves um, is a white gradient. Her horn goes from white to um, her purple. And that's really the most I can say about it. Um, I did, however, add the splotch of darker colors um, onto her um, flank to resemble Princess Luna in a way to add another layer of um, emotion and uh, context as to why Celestia would have chosen her as her apprentice. So basically she saw Twilight with all this magical like prowess and talent and she also saw the markings on her hind legs before she got her cutie mark and was like, you're mine now. Uh, so that's Twilight. Rarity is a similar case where not much changed. Um, I added some gray spots along her back and just above her hooves to add a little more um, stuff going on. The most that happened or changed is in her hair. So her tail follows the unicorn um, anatomy that I had established, but it's curly and it goes around the tip of the tail and this nice little coil um, in the, her mane. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Her mane. Uh, curls around as well. Her horn is, goes from a light blue to white. And that's really the most I can say about her. Not much changed.
I say when it comes down to things, um, Applejack was the hardest to design in my opinion. Not because she um, is particularly um, uh, detailed or anything, but I struggled getting her markings down just right. So in the end, I settled with a more simple design. The most detail that there is with her is the gradient and freckles along her face and hooves. Um, she has her same orange yellow color palette with a little red mixed in. I added some more details to her hat um, and her tail um, and mane are braided. So there's that. She is significantly buffer looking than uh, the show. And I love that a lot. It makes her look like an actual working gal. Um, otherwise, there's not much to say about her. I just struggled with her uh, help pattern. Uh, otherwise, that's Applejack. I'm going to be honest. I did not have much in mind for Pinkie Pie. So what I did for her is um, I saw this one design where it turned her into like a jester or clown looking uh, character. So I'm gonna find that later and like link it in the pinned com comment because um, those designs are really cool. You should check them out. Uh, so I gave her um, some cheeks. So I made her cheeks um, have um, some dots on them and her nose is a little more red to kind of make her look like a clown. Uh, otherwise, I made her a lot more poofy with a lot more swirls. I added a few more colors into her hair and uh, I added the little yellow um, highlights to make it look like she has some ribbons or streamers stuck in her hair. Otherwise, she was pretty simple. I didn't put much thought behind her design. I just thought, haha, more color, which is a pretty Pinkie Pie thing to do. I had the most fun redesigning Rainbow Dash, mostly because, haha, <laughs> rainbows, I love color. But, uh, there's not much to say, but I did have a lot of fun, so, uh, she stuck with her usual blue, although I made her a bit more teal and made it a bit more pastel. Um, I tried to keep the design on her main body, um, mostly simple because I didn't want to overcomplicate it with the multicolor mane. Um, I added a little stripe underneath her eye to kind of make it like um, more sportsy, make her like she look like she has like a racing stripe or something. Her nose has, um, the bridge of her nose has a white line also kind of like a racing stripe. Uh, one of her hair bits, one of the pieces of her hair um, is in the shape of a lightning bolt. And the tips, uh, the ends of her mane also are in the shape of lightning bolts. And uh, that's all I really have to say. I did put like um, clouds on her pelt. They're really hard to see. But if you look at like her legs and her chest, you can see it looks a lot like a cloud. Last but not least is our girl Fluttershy. Again, not much changed with her. I added um, a few more colors into her pelt. She has a little blush on her cheek right underneath her eye and a little bit of um, eyeliner or uh, eyeshadow just to make her look a little more shy. Her hair is significantly longer. She's got a bit of a uh, pink to light yellow gradient going on in there. She also has um, uh, light pink highlights um, framing her face. Uh, and she has a few little um, freckles on her hooves. That's really it. She was a very simple design, you know, a shy character. I didn't want to do too much with her, but that's Fluttershy. And here is the full lineup of the main six. So when it comes to height, I decided that Rainbow Dash it would be so funny if she was the shortest and also it would contribute to her being able to fly faster so her wings proportionately are bigger than Fluttershy's and she's shorter than Fluttershy so she flies super super fast. I thought that'd be really funny. Uh, the unicorns, as I said, taller than the earth ponies. Um, no, not, yeah, unicorns are taller than the earth ponies. Earth ponies are taller than the pegasi. This is just a fun lineup and I'm 
glad that I decided to do these designs um, because it let me indulge in my childhood um, nostalgia. And I might do some more designs of MLP characters in the future, like Spike, the princesses, uh, other characters in general. But for now, I think this is where my MLP stuff stops and I'm gonna go back to um, Fakemon and original characters and all that stuff. But otherwise, I had so much fun with this. Have a good day.